uh, that are tremendous. And for the first time on stream, I'm seeing the Bengals. The Bengals. Cincinnati. Yeah, that is this, gonna be this interesting. is a big spot. Oh! He comes up with a big pick already. Master Gamer. Oh, go! And there is Jackson's gonna take it all the way back to the house. Hello! Wow. If you looked away, you missed it. It's a pick six for Master Gamer. Wow, what a... What is... What a way to start the game. Pick six early oh, on. I thought somebody might have thrown a controller. Oh, I was wondering, there. yeah, was this? I, That's I what it, my screen looks like when I give up a I pick thought six. it was old school Madden, <laughs> like us playing as kids, being like, nope. I'm hitting reset. I'm calling mom. Dave's cheating. It's up and it's good. I'll be honest with you. I don't have a Bengals roster up here. No way that I thought I was going to see Cincinnati. Uh, all right. All right. Vilma and Master Gamer. Now already off to a hot start. Coach Master Gamer has won nearly 12 grand. Already playing uh, his last couple of years of Madden. Uh, and he's made it to a one EA major. That was the Madden 18 challenge. So I can't wait got to ask two him. great players here. No, absolutely. I'm interested, you know, I'm trying to think of the, I mean, I know all the Bengals skill players and why you would possibly. The only questionable thing, and it's funny that the Bengals started off with a pick six here as Matt Ryan drops back, finds Julio Jones to move the sticks. It's interesting because the Bengals are dead last in total defense in the NFL this season. And in categories where they're not dead last, they're second to last because they're, they're last in yards allowed, points allowed, third down conversions. They're not able to stop anybody. They're 31st against the pass and the run. So there's a little bit of an improvement right there. So it's interesting to me why you might be going with the Cincinnati Bengals. Perhaps he's a huge fan of Andy Dalton. You got some versatility though. Well, we, I, we said it earlier and I said it in, in the perfect way that, um, you know, Master Gamer is a Madden nerd. And I mean yeah. that in the most uh, endearing way possible. But, you know, Johnny Moore coming in with a stat that shows that the Bengals are the next to last team used in online head-to-head -head in Rex. Makes sense. Only to the Bills. The Bills are very last, but the Bengals are number 31. And Master Gamer is pulling them out in one of the biggest games of his career. Yeah, but I would look at their offensive skill players, A.J. Green is obviously one of the best well, there's in the a, game. Well, there's a guy that's got John some Ross. wheels. But John Ross. They John Ross is the guy. Yeah. John Ross is the guy. And you know what? The Bengals RB1 has some versatility as a runner and with his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. And perhaps Matster Gamer is going to be looking at Giovanni Bernard because he's got some intangibles too. And of course, the, the Tyler Eifert, you know, as a as a guy, just based on the ratings, obviously he's on IR and he's going to be out. Actually, a, a, a number of their tight ends are out this Doesn't season. Doesn't matter in this they're, game, though. I know. That's the one thing about seeing, like, Cooper Cup out there and Devontae Freeman that we've seen out there. Uh, you know, because on Sundays, the Bengals are down to C.J. Uzama as their tight end, but he'll have Tyler Eifert at his disposal in this contest. So it's an interesting call. But I do kind of see where he's coming from with some of these some of these players. There is talent there. Vilma five and six all-time record in MCS events. Master Gamer is eleven and twelve all-time in the MCS. So two guys what a presence that, that have been around, yeah, been around five hundred trying to break free. This is their big chance to get into that six team, and a nice shot here by Vilma bouncing back after that early pick six to put together a drive down to the 22. Yeah, really putting him on him, using using Tevin Coleman there as a runner. And I don't think that I've seen Devontae Freeman out there for him. Every Although I will say, every time I see Hall out there, I always think of Devin Hester wearing 17 for the Falcons and how criminal it was that he wasn't able to finish his career with the Bears, even though he signed the one-game contract or one-day contract. The, I, Has I like, there been a better return I, in no, the history? No, 100%. Of the game? No, no. Uh, Hester's the best. Hold on now. Don't say Dion. Gail Sayers. No. Does you that, know, that puts you in? Come on now. Oh, that's fair. That's Come definitely now. fair. That's one Over. of the guys, when you talk about past players that I would like to see play in the modern NFL. I think Gail Sayers has got to be the consensus overall number one Could guy. Could have played any position on the field at the time. <laughs> I can tell you that. First and goal right now. 
course, so we're putting names out there that some people are like, ooh, what? Well, what's, you what's get them in packs sometimes, some of the legends. I'm trying to think if we've ever had a Gail Sears. I thought Gail Sears, I thought when we Madden did. Madden item. I thought when we did Mad NFL Live. I know I'm not that. sure he was in 16. I'm not I know our old producer, Dylan, Dylan Milner, has been watching the cast. He'll let us know if there was. Or maybe it was Walter Payton. But of I course, Walter was, Payton was in there. There was actually I thought there was at a, a position Sears. Walter Payton too, who, who was a quarterback. He was terrific. Because he was, he could throw the ball. That's what he does. Second and goal here. Vilma trying to tie it up. He's had some long drives over this tournament, but none longer than the 40 hours he drove from Staten Island, New York, mm. to Vegas. We had two guys drive from New York here and they came in separate separate ways coming to wally world sure trailing the griswolds who are making their way across the country big ben parliament <laughs> third and goal from the seven <laughs> minute to go more references that 90 percent of the chat you should get. be watching those movies I'll throw I've away. Watched, i watch movies from the 70s so you guys can kind of you know, go and watch movies from the 80s and 90s. It's not going to harm Yeah, me. any of the National Lampoons, Airplane. Like, it's Christmas vacation time. Like, you should be watching that that holiday classic. Master Gamer standing up strong again. Has still yet to have an offensive play. But after the pick six, uh, he turns around on his second defensive possession and holds Vilma to just three. So now we're going to see what the heck these Cincinnati Bengals now, I'm interested to see how he's going to work this. Gio Bernard at a UNC. Oh, there you go. Nice little return out to the 29-yard line, and that's where Andy Dalton will have the opportunity to go to work. Well, unless he wants to go with Jeff Driscoll. Let's let's give him a moment. We don't. I don't want to put Tyler Boyd. You know what? He has actually been one of the guys who stepped up this season. You know, a solid wide receiver, too. He's obviously played a lot better when A.J. Green has been out on the field. Whenever you have to kind of roll coverage to him, Tyler Boyd has really stepped up and performed admirably. Now, his numbers have taken a little bit of a hit over the last couple of weeks now that Green has been out, and teams are now looking at him. As we see, he's got Giovanni Bernard there in the slot. Of course, he's got John Ross out there, and he's got Walton Jr. as his running back, which I, I fully endorse. Here's oh! Andy Dalton, there is Ross. Look at that. Oh, he, he drops it. the ball. That's the, I mean, Tyreek's got a lot of speed with the Chiefs. Ross has got a ton of speed, but the difference in hands is well, astronomical. You know actually, I don't want to well actually you, but John Ross has touchdowns in four of his last five games, and they haven't been deep burners. Like, so they actually look for him. You're still talking IRL. I'm talking that. I know, but I'm just, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, then I've got to talk to the person who's doing these ratings because, Well, you know hey, what? they have the ratings guy, adjuster guy, go out every every weekend yeah, I've seen them, these teams. I've seen him make some brutal drops, though. It's, it's disappointing. But, no, they've actually looked for him near the red zone. I, I believe most of his touchdowns have come within the 10-yard line, or at least a couple that I've seen. You know, I watch all the games. I go back and watch the watch the tape and everything. It's weird the way they've used him because it isn't how you would prescribe it, and I'm sure not the way that Matster Gamer is going to be using him here today. I mean, if you're going to pick the Bengals, you got to you, you got to win because like it's such a, every, everyone's just going to be such all a, over you because it's just it's just it's just uh, unusual. That's the only that's the PC way I can put this decision. Well, I think it's a baller move. I think it's putting it out there that, like, hey, man, I'll take any team and beat you. <laughs> and I think, I mean, obviously, I would be intimidated going up against Master Gamer anyways. But Vilma's got to be wondering the same thing. Like, what the hell is he doing? Like, why why the Bengals? Like, you, And that's you, a head game, too. Yeah, like, hey, I've never played dome. against the Bengals. What, what am I looking for? What is he up to? You know... You know what you're getting when you're facing the Chiefs. You know what you get when you face the Patriots. But now, now he's thinking, why did he choose Cincinnati? And what's about to happen here? How big, much? Big shout out to my color commentator uh, in real life at the college level, Sam Weish, who calls college games with me. Former Super Bowl not winning, but Super Bowl coach came up a little short to see had him. He, he Oh, boy. Did he ever? The, and it, not just the the play at the end where you know John Taylor scores the touchdown, but there was an interception that was missed. Is that Montana was ready to just give that game away? He put one in the midst of uh, 
Goodness gracious, what is that guy's name? Solomon Wilkos could tell us. Yeah, he would. He'll tell us at the field. <laughs> so could Chris Collinsworth. But, and you know, and Tim Crumry went out early with a snapped broken leg that was brutal. As we see the RB1 from Oklahoma running the ball here for the Bengals. So we got a third and five here. Donnie Moore is over on the side giving us the, the icky shuffle. Icky, icky shuffle, Icky was not the one who dropped the interception. <laughs> They had a lot of talent. I mean, that was a talented team. That was Boomer Esiason. He was taking over for Ken Anderson. Ken Anderson, one of the more underrated quarterbacks in NFL history. I'm pretty sure that Weish came up through the San Francisco organization. He had that ties he, to Bill Walsh. That he for had sure. ties to Bill. He was in that coaching tree, so. 100%. Hurt in a lot of different reasons here. First and 10 here for Master Gamer showing us that, hey, he's moving on to Cincinnati. Oh, look at what you As did there. It was close to Cleveland. That was good. No, but on to Cincinnati. That's the Belichick. <laughs> this is what I thought you were doing. There's Walton Jr. Picking up 11 yards Getting there. Getting some run. In the first down. Hey, Master Gamer might be starting to starting to meta here. And Greg's coming out with Cincinnati. They got some talent here. Yeah, I mean, like watching it right now and seeing Giovanni Bernard Splitting it or sitting out there in the slot, you, but you know that I think that's been the frustration for big fans. Should be right. You have talent. You well, you have got some Hugh Jackson. Injuries. You got yeah. Hugh Jackson that's coming true. in next year, so <laughs> that not breaking that secession news. plan. Close to it's going to work news. out. Don't go out and get Matt Lafleur. Although the Titans' offense hasn't really performed to the levels that we thought outside of Derrick Henry rushing for 600 yards last night. So second and six here. Already well into the second quarter here. Using the running game, milk this clock. Of course, Vilma had a long drive, had to kick the three. And Master Gamer's trying to milk the clock here. Final game of the day. There it is in the flat. There's a little spin, nice little spin to pick up the first down, to, to put that ball right over the line and move the chains. Yeah, that's a savvy move. You know, you would figure the guy who is using the Cincinnati Bengals is gonna be a pretty good master at the, the savviness. Veteran move right there. Hey, getting ready for something coming left. Trying to figure out who's going to be the final participant in the 16 tomorrow. One more spot left. Oh. Walton Jr. spins back to the inside. They'll mark him down at the 13, and that's probably going to be the two-minute warning. Yeah, I thought if he would have taken that hard in the inside, he might have had something a little bit more right there. But, you know, still a positive gain and still keeping that clock moving as he's going down to the two-minute warning. I feel like, and I don't want to get ahead of myself, and I don't want to defame Vilma. No, we got a long way like to go. There's a long way to go, but I'm already. He's only had the ball twice. But forgive me for getting ahead of myself and saying that if Matster Gamer were able to win this game, I want to see him rocking the Jags tomorrow. Well, that's a real stretch. Getting the boat out there, Blake Portals. This is Master Gamer's first offensive possession. Started the game with a pick six. I mean, right when we came in. Yeah. But boom, it was a pick six. I was still getting sat in my seat, getting ready to go. And so we're under the two minute warning now. Still three timeouts available for both Vilma and Master Gamer. Yeah, this is a big opportunity for Vilma right here. He's got to get a stop, force him to a field goal, keep that within a one score game. So many adjustments on the outside. Dalton. Oh. Picks up the pressure momentarily, and then almost turned it over. And here comes the field goal unit. Yeah, he's gonna take that three, go up by a touchdown. Go back, play a little bit of defense. I tell you, Master Gamer is really taking the air out of the ball here in the first half. And he's gonna get the ball at the, end, at the start of the second half as well. So this next possession coming up from Vilma is going to be huge. 10 to 3 is now your score. After the long drive by, by Master Gamer. And if you're Vilma, not only 
is it imperative that you score, because that's obviously the name of the game, but you can't give the ball back in this half the that's your game. You know, we keep a lot of stats around the Madden community, and this one's coming in from Donnie Moore. Master Gamer is the most memed competitor oh. in the MCS history. And he, he's, he steers into that as well. He enjoys it. He loves it. He should. Out to the outside, there is Freeman. And he'll get a couple, maybe one. Let's call it second and nine. 90 gotta, seconds to go. If you're master gamer, you gotta wonder, should I be, should I take a timeout? What should we do here? Maybe it's a little too early for that. Left. Right. 120 to go, make it 118 now. Matty Ice, pocket collapsing, gets oh. it to Julio, and Julio can't hang Lops on. It. Wow, and the clock stops as well. And Master Gamer hasn't even had to use a timeout here on defense, and he might be getting the ball back here soon. Yeah, having them in third and long. This would be a huge momentum change. If you can't pick up the first down here, third and nine, and if you don't, what do you do? And what's the decision you make in a one-score game if you're facing fourth down? We, we ain't got there yet. Here's third and nine. Vilma looking, looking. Why is wanting oh. it? We really thought Boy, you he had why for a moment. I know Master Game was tracking back with the user there, but maybe could have dropped it in. And now it's decision time. And it looks like he's going for it. Yeah, if you're going to throw that ball away, you're, you're doing that under the guise that you're going to go for it on fourth down. Otherwise, you would have just, hey, you know, 21. taken the dive. Gun, gun. Let the clock roll, or at least take the at least force Master Gamer to take one of his timeouts. Of course, we will see Master Gamer in California at the club championship. He's trying to become the Dolphins go, go. champion. Makes his home in Weston, Florida. Go. Big time Dolphin supporter, and that's going to be a delay of game. And now what wow. do you do? He had three timeouts, and he's going to punt it away. But I'm not sure that, I mean, that's a, that's a crucial five yards. My goodness. That could be the difference between a field goal or not. And he'll punt it away. Back to return is John Ross. John Ross. Ever so dangerous. Oh, boy. Trying to get to the outside. Oh, boy. And there's some key return yards in plus territory at the 49-yard line. So some questionable management here Ooh. at the end of the half. Can Matt capitalize here? Yeah, and even though John Ross wasn't able to get the corner right there, still a positive gain inside Falcons territory. Master Gamer, who, I mean, we've seen him just one drive. Here's Dalton dropping back now. We've seen just the one drive from him, but it did look like he had, he had everything in control. Second and 10 from the 49 now, still with all three timeouts. He's got to be careful not to give it back over to Vilma with time. So we need a positive play here. Here's the motion. Dalton in the gun. Andy looking. And he'll find Joe Mixon at the 43-yard line. Yeah, it makes that third and manageable. A couple Oklahoma Sooners on this. Cincinnati team. Third and four. Got out of bounds, clock stop with 42 seconds. The first nine minutes of this half went by in like 30 seconds. The yes. last 20 seconds have taken nine minutes. Oh, over the wide middle. open. AJ Green. A Take your time out Georgia there. You Bulldog. Go. There you go. Rumbling at the 20 yard line. So now you're in Joe, field goal range. Can you add more? Joe Mixon at tight end is pretty glitchy, I can tell you that. That's interesting because of his skill set. Not much of a blocker. I was going to say, not much of it didn't need to be. 
As he gets Walton out of, gets out of bounds, yeah, that stopped the clock. It's out of bounds, yeah. Walton is actually a, a pretty good talent there for the Bengals. Now, they've had some injuries this season, and there were times where Walton got a little bit of a burn, and we could have, you know, he was one of those guys, oh, Uzama's on the field now. Double tight end. Second and inches, that tells me he's going to the running game here. And he will oh, there it is. off to Walton, and Walton will get all the way down to the five-yard line. And Matt will use one of his two timeouts. One remaining, 25 seconds. And so you saw some poor management out of Vilma that led to this possession. Mm -hmm. And now Matt really doing a good job with his clock management. Has a timeout remaining with 20. Five seconds to go in the game. It's our final game of the day. We should be rock and rolling with the end of tomorrow. Final 16 will grab the champion and just got it away. That'll save some precious time with second and goal. And even though, you know, he's got that timeout, so that doesn't take a run off the board. That's still part of his arsenal right now. Interesting to see what he's going to dial up here. Any play in the playbook, any part of the field. He's got Mixon back there besides Dalton. And he'll switch Mixon. Hey, get ready for something coming left. Neither player has really been able to get much pressure. And he hands oh. it to Mixon. He tried to power his way. He gets he's got the one yard line. He's got the timeout. He didn't take it. I think he's going to call it right it here. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing, man? And this has got to be a pass play. This has got to be open. This has got to be something quick. Of course, he, he's done the math it. here. I mean, I guess you could do a, a QB sneak. That takes a couple seconds. You need about six or seven seconds to run the field goal unit on in Madden and, and kick it through. And the biggest scary thing is the kick meter. That's what takes the most time of the field goal is to get that thing up and down. And so he goes a shotgun here. Yeah, he's going to be trying to match up A.J. Green maybe in the corner of the end zone. Much of the inside zone of Walton. It'll be very risky. With only 10 seconds left in the half. Aye, aye, aye. And he's going to rethink the whole thing. He's going to flip to the other side. Yeah, but he could still get Green no. this time trying to get a little separation. He will go to the air. Dalton throws it just away. Didn't see anything there quickly. Perfect. And you'll run the field goal unit on. And I think Vilma would be like, OK. Yep. All right. Now, what's interesting to note here is that Vilma is going to be kicking off here at the start of the second half. Now, obviously, Vilma was a member of the New Orleans Saints Super Bowl 44 <laughs> team, and they were trailing at halftime. And what got them back in the game, Sean Payton dialed up an onside kick to start it up. To, to get it a little jump start to that team, could Vilma be thinking that right now? Probably not. No, he's a Jets fan. He's got that New Era Jets hat on. I'm just saying, just trying to, trying to, because when I think of Vilma, I think of. I like the theory crafting. I'm okay with that. Here's the squib. Ridley can't get down on the turf before the clock expires. And it's it's been a pretty technically savvy first half for Master Gamer. I talked about him this being like a lot of us are. I'm, I'm willing to admit it. I'm a mad nerd. Right. Um, and, and he's one of the best at, at, at getting in the lab, living in that practice mode. And there's Giovanni Bernard with a spin, another one. And he's oh! gonna take this to the house. Oh boy, wait, Vic Beasley trying to gain. No, I love me some Vic Beasley <laughs> Jr., but that is Gio Bernard and Master K. Not gonna be caught. Has opened a big lead here with the extra point. It's gonna be 17 point lead. 20 to three. So he should have gone with the onside skin. You know what? I'm going to tell that theory to Madster Gamer and see if he would have endorsed. Of course, Gio Bernard with Trying that. to play six degrees of separation here. 89 spin move. What a return. And he put it on display there. Another key stack coming in from the main man, Donnie. And that's a heck of a way to start the third quarter, and now you're 
You have a big deficit here. 17 points, still a lot of time. No, but now plenty every, of time. Everything's got to go your way now. Yeah. You can't afford to give up another long drive. You can't afford to put a long drive together yourself. Yeah, you got to go out there and, and move this football. Try not to get it all back in one play. And again, you know, in situations like this, I, I think that what we see in the the games on Sunday is you want to go out there and establish a little bit of a rhythm. And one of the things I've noticed that, you know, what we see from Steve Sarkeesian when he's calling a game is that a lot of times you want to put a lot of targets on Julio Jones and let him kind of matriculate the ball down the field. There's Calvin when you get Ridley with a nice spin out to the 48. Although when you got Calvin Ridley wide open like that, you got to go ahead and take advantage of him. Now, Ridley had a couple of nice games this season. has shown some flashes during his rookie campaign out of Alabama. But I think ultimately, when you look at it, of the, of the rookie wide receivers, I would almost say that DJ Moore and maybe Anthony Miller have outplayed him. There's Coleman. Just saying. Couldn't get to the edge, lost the yard. Cortland Sutton will obviously have an opportunity now that Manny Sanders is out for the season. Shouldn't say lossy yard. He had gained four, but got knocked back one there at the end. It's going to be second and seven. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a great day, but it's been no, a long you've been, day. You've been my, my, math. my math has been terrible. Yeah, my math is starting to slip here late. There we got Julio right there. One of the best in the game, if not the best. Obviously, a lot of people knock him for his lack of touchdowns. I think we've mentioned already. Eddie Jackson, the safety for the Bears. More touchdowns than Julio Jones this year. Worth repeating. And almost threw a pick, but Calvin Ridley pulls it in. And when you look at the numbers for Julio Jones, 98 rating overall. 93 speed, he doesn't get enough credit for how fast he is, but he's a 93 speed, jump 97. 97 spe spectacular catch. Off the charts, it seems like anything thrown his way. Boy, Ridley hanging gonna be on there, you know, that's, a, that's a nice grab. Right in there. day one, Adam, we saw several players come in here with, pretty much their offense was, I'm Atlanta and I'm gonna throw a corner route with Julio and throw it up. Like, that was literally the offense that we, we had several of our competitors running. And, and to be honest, it was effective. Yeah, it hasn't worked out so well because you see the Falcons, they do that a lot with Julio. It's not like he lacks red zone targets. That's clearly not the problem, but it's I think it's Matt Ryan actually getting him the football. But in here, with the perfect conditions, and we're just going on the ratings and everything, yeah, that's going to probably work out more often than not. Boy, master game, we were hoping with the tip drill that he had a pick there. Oh, he's feeling it. He's feeling pretty good. But you know what? Vilma's done a nice job of moving After, this yeah. ball down the field. Uh, if you look at it for Vilma, if you're just joining us, Scott Cole and Adam Rank from the NFL Network here, is you're giving up 14 points, one on a pick six and another on a kick return. So you played a, you played a decent game, you was giving up, you know, two huge plays, right. two chunk plays, and that's what has you with this deficit. Definitely has not played poorly at all. And it's the same thing, and it goes back to what we saw in the, the K Mike contest with Skimbo, is that, you know, a couple of, couple of missed opportunities. Oh blocked. my gosh! It Are you kidding blocked. me? And scooped up and everything going Matt's way. You know, I, I again, we talk about Vilma I don't think that he's necessarily playing bad, but at some point you got to take that new era cap, tip it to Master Gamer, because this guy, not only is he calling a great game, I think that just by setting the tone, by playing the Bengals, because it occupied so much of our headspace that you know that that had to, that had to weigh a little bit on Vilma. Me in college, that is a controller that controller. would never be played with ever again. I'm not saying what would happen to the controller. I just wouldn't be oh, using been, it, nor would anybody be using it anymore. I'd be gone. This game would be over. I would be down the hallway. I would be using the pay phone <laughs> to call somebody to come pick me up because I need to go home. Second and eight. Everything going the way of Master Gamer and the Bengals of all teams. And now he's just starting to grind that clock. 
mean, we're, we're not even in the fourth quarter and Matt Gamer's already realizing, you know what? I'm gonna take more air out of this ball. If you're wondering on Walton Jr., he's only a 72 overall, but he has 87 speed, 82 carry, and 83 spin. So when it comes to Madden in the meta, he has the things that you want out of a running back. Yeah, and if I can pay him, and I'm talking about Matt or Gamer, one of the one of the ultimate compliments here, but it it kind of reminds me of what successful teams do, and by successful teams, I'm thinking of the Patriots and their ability to find guys who do things that are going to fit the way that they play. And I think by using the Bengals in this situation, and as you said, you know, talking about the spin and everything like that, is that Master Gamer has identified a roster who has players that play to his game. And I think he should be commended for it. And of course, you know, it, it, it also is an ultimate psych out to just wonder what is he doing with the Bengals. And now if you gotta play him tomorrow, if the score holds, you don't know what the heck, this, who he's playing with and who is he bringing to the table tomorrow. I don't know, I mean, I'm, of course I can look back to the stats here. Uh, of what um, he's been playing with the entire weekend uh, for Master Gamer. I, I don't know if he just pulled him out for this game here, or is it something that he's been, uh, you know, has he been riding with Cincinnati all day? I'm just trying to get into the mind of Master Gamer Oh, we're Gamer definitely, right yeah. Now. Gun, gun, gun. I'm definitely hey, going to be gun, catching gun. up with him after hey, this game and trying please, to get please, to the please, bottom please. of this. I don't want to divulge all of his secrets if he wants to keep that close to the best. If he, although that, that's the thing about Master Gamer is that you give him enough time, he's eventually going to tell you what you need. <laughs> if you stand there long enough. I love it. Even if he doesn't want to volunteer the information, he's going to eventually volunteer the information. I love this hey, kid. He used Kansas City in the opening round today. So he's been all over the charts. He, he's been using KC and he just breaks out Cincinnati when he needs it. I don't know if, well, he, I don't, I, if he knows Vilma, knows Vilma's gamer, or, or is he, does he feel like Cincinnati is a, uh, you know, a, a good matchup versus Atlanta? I mean, These are the things I'd like to know. I honestly, the thing that I would imagine, knowing Master Gamer the way that we do, is that this is this is a specific game plan against one player, perhaps, or he just knows what he's doing. I think. I mean, remember he, when he, he used to lab with who was it? Chaos. Who we got to that oh yeah, that sure that tournament a couple of years ago. Is that this guy? As you said, he, he puts in so much work into this game that this is a this is a calculated move. Like he absolutely knows what he's doing, and he needs again needs to be commended for. Well, he had a first round bye, starting single elimination. Then he used Kansas City to get to this point, and he, out of nowhere, breaks out Cincinnati. And, and I'll put that to bed. That's the, <laughs> that's the last thing we'll say, but hey, it's worked for him. That's, he doesn't need to show his cards too early. You know, he's looking to the end zone. Oh, you talk about that spectacular catch from Julio. Can't pull it off there. And that blocked field goal hurt. Because right now, oh, yeah, you'd you be need... looking at a two score game, and right now with it being three scores, with 329 to go, that, that's a tough deficit. He's throwing a pick six. He's given up a kick return to start the half, and he's had a field goal blocked. Oh! And here is another pick six. Oh, boy. See ya. Two pick sixes. Bye, Felicia. It's Wilson. <laughs> I don't think Holman's going to Get to the numbers! Him. And he'll dab. Boy, Scheman would tell you not to do that. Well. But he dabs at the end. It's, it's, it's what he does. And so, it's two pick sixes. And this and is a route. GG's. Double G. Yeah, he gets the extra point. This should be the mercy rule, well, right? Well, you get, you get it one more time to try to. The rule, for those that don't know at home, the mercy rule is 24 points. And the, and the guy sitting next to you, apparently. But you have to have the ball again. So gotcha. you get one more opportunity here to take it back below 24. I'm glad um, I could. They I'm, might say GG's here just because yeah, the double G's, just like, all right, man, I'm. Double G is happening right here. He's like, it might get worse. So you can see the love. You can see the daps, the handshakes. And